What's the point of fluid shorts, woods and brass? They're popular choices among composers for realism and life in their orchestral compositions. But why would you buy these add-on libraries that can only do short notes? Most of us already have sample libraries for strings, brass and woodwinds. Or several of them. Or many of them. For example, an all-in-one orchestra like Nucleus or BBC Symphony Orchestra. Or dedicated libraries like Berlin Strings, Cinebrass or Cinematic Studio Woodwinds. So why the Fluid series? I've asked myself. Here's why. A high-quality conventional library should come with multiple lengths or speeds for short notes. Typical articulations are staccato, staccatissimo and spiccato for strings or repetitions for brass and woodwinds. In general, the faster your musical passage, the quicker the articulation should be so the notes don't blend into each other. With this easy example, you would maybe have the first note as a more loose staccato, the fast bit as spiccato and perhaps the last accent as a staccatissimo. If you follow this principle throughout your entire song, it will sound more realistic than only using one articulation. To achieve this, you can use key switches to trigger the different articulations in the MIDI. But if your keyboard doesn't have 88 keys, you're gonna be in agony, because often the key switches will be out of your range and you have to change the octaves of your MIDI controller or add the key switches with the mouse. Articulation mapping tools like expression maps or sound variations, where you select notes and apply an articulation to them from a drop-down menu. But if you don't purchase these mappings separately or are lucky to find free ones made by the community, you will have to set them up yourself first. Or using individual tracks for each articulation. Enjoy performing surgery on your melody and splitting it up between three or four tracks. What I want to say is all of these ways work, but all of these have annoying downsides. Personally, I use the articulation mapping method using Studio One's sound variations in combination with the purchased maps of Art Conductor. Time is money. The Fluid series does all that for you. Automatically, it has six different repetition speeds and autonomously picks the best speed for each note. Slower passages get longer notes and faster passages get those super tight and snappy happy ones. There are up to 10 round robins per speed, so no matter how fast you play, you will have enough unique samples to prevent a machine gun effect. The Fluid Shorts products are convenience tools for a fast workflow that saves us precious programming time without missing out on quality and realism. They're specialists and can only do shorts, which is also their biggest downside. But those shorts, they can do extremely well. I wrote a little comparison demo piece. I will play it once with the fluid instruments and once with my trusty workhorses Cinematic Studio Strings, Brass and Woodwinds. Finally, we'll layer them. Fluid shorts are about convenience and speed. I didn't adjust any articulations because it does it for me. That's why for the Cinematic Studio series, I also picked only one short articulations without assigning every note to the perfect short type like staccato, staccatissimo, etc. That would have probably taken an hour or more, and I want to show the results you can get with a comparable time effort. So for the Cinematic Studio Series mock-up, the shorts will sound a bit more abrupt or dissociated perhaps. Not because CSS can't do it, but because I chose to work fast and only use the spiccato slash repetition articulation. This video is not about directly comparing a $90 specialist with a $400 flagship library and crowning a winner. It's about showing what you can achieve with an affordable specialist when you play out its strengths. Here's the fluid version of the demo. Pay close attention to the fast, repeated notes and notice how they have different speeds, making them appear quite lively and natural. Subscribe to the channel if this is helpful to you. I will create more high-quality composer content for you. the cinematic studio version with repetition shorts. Because CSS, CSB and CSW are incredible libraries, the result still sounds good. But I think you will hear that the shorts are a bit more one-dimensional. Like... Bop, 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 bop.
Again, only because I didn't dissect each note into staccato, staccatissimo or repetitions. I didn't have to with fluid shorts and want to compare the results with a similar time investment. Time is money. What's the point of fluid shorts, woods and brass? I think the main point is that they're fantastic layering tools. Their standalone quality is remarkable, but somewhat depends on you only using shorts, right? But if you combine them with your other orchestral libraries, you get the benefit of a fast workflow and a gorgeous tone. Can you reach this level of vividness of fluid shorts with other orchestral libraries? Yes, as long as your libraries have shorts with multiple articulations and round robins. But you will have to assign notes to these articulations yourself. A few libraries are going for a similar approach. I'm looking at you, Tokyo Scoring Strings, with your nice look-ahead mode. So that's an interesting direction we're heading in for the future. With fluid shorts, brass and winds, you don't need to worry about any of that. The libraries pick the right short speeds for you and you can focus on the shorts you want to write. Only the shorts. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon.